The internet is too easy, man. All you gotta do is list out some sort of accomplishment by a Playboy Cardi on the internet, and then the Uzi fans come in running, trying to defend their man when it had nothing to do with him. So anyway, if you haven't already seen, I posted this on Twitter, the Cardi effect. So basically, we've been talking about it and keeping up with for the last four years, or three years plus a few months, since Whole lot of Red, where Cardi's come become a large artist, a top dog, if you would, if you will, wherein every time he features on a song, it tends to do pretty well. And not just pretty well, but even better than the rest of the songs that are in the project that they're contained within. And because I understand some of the arguments against this whole Cardi effect, because I don't think Cardi is as big as, say, Kanye or... Travis Scott might be, I don't know, but uh, definitely not Kanye. Kanye's an icon, even more so. But people would say that, you know, those songs are already, those artists are already going to do really well on Billboard. I believe Kanye already has Burn and some other tracks on Billboard right now, but they still are not as high as Carnival. And consistently, though, when Kanye and Cardi work together, or Travis Scott and Cardi work together, or Trippy Red, or whoever it is, it ends up going higher than any of the other combinations that these artists, such as The Weeknd Kanye, that are bigger than Cardi, or when they go solo, do. So I think that there actually is some sort of concept where like, when Cardi hops on a feature, it practically means that that song is about to go up. Now, whether that's because of Cardi's fan base, always looking forward to those songs, but just whatever it is, anytime there's a feature on any artist's album or song, like the Cardi fans show out for him, and like he always brings something new and interesting, and he's rare, he doesn't really like drop too many features, he gives a lot to Kanye, I'm not gonna lie, but still, I think that's, like his fan base is just so strong, it might not be as big as, say, you know, any of the other artists that he's working with because they are bigger. So there definitely is an argument to be made that like Travis Scott or Kanye, The Weeknd are already some of the biggest artists in the world. And like, you know, The Weeknd could probably already go number one by himself. Same thing with Kanye. But, for, but still, like, why is Carnival... By the way, that's how this whole thing derived. Carnival is now number one on Billboard, if you haven't seen already. And then Fiend, of course, is the most popular song on Travis Scott's album. He performs it like 10 times every time he goes live. Even though I think that song got beat out by another track that hit number three. But still, another one of the most popular songs on Kanye's album is with, again, Playboy Cardi on fuck some now travis scott's on it too and i think he definitely helps boost up the ratings and the streams but still the cardi effect and as i said there's going to be people who are arguing here let's see cardi has never had a song chart top 25 as a lead artist those mega stars gave cardi his biggest hits this is more of a travis scott the weekend and kanye west effect so if that were true why then are not all of their songs going number one without Playboy Cardi? And why are the Playboy Cardi features, I'm not trying to dick ride, but why are they performing way better than all of the rest of the tracks on their albums? Like, I feel you. It's kind of cheating what Cardi does, with, especially with like how he, he, uh, his method is boosting up his monthly listeners by hopping on the biggest artists in the world's features. So I get it. I get the argument. But like, why are these songs performing better than the rest? Or like even when they've got even bigger features than, than just Cardi. So it'll be interesting to see because I, I agree that Cardi never solo has really gotten a top hit by himself other than like maybe Magnolia, Sky, others, but ne never top 10 by himself. He's done Pain 1993 with Drake. Okay, so the list goes on. It's not just these songs that I listed before. But it's been three years or so since Whole Lot of Red dropped, and Cardi has made substantial progress with increasing his reach by jumping on all of these bigger artist songs. Trippy Red, Travis Scott, even though Trippy Red isn't bigger than Cardi, but you get the point. 
like making these songs bigger and like having a bunch of billboard features or appearances like his fan base is going to be way bigger and i just feel like his his pull in general like more people are going to be tuning into cardi now whereas before whole lot of red like he was still kind of underground in a way not underground but he was he was just like that was the first album where he really hit mainstream other than you know some songs on die lit but he was still a mumble rapper back then now it's kind of like he's actually something serious to pay attention to like he is with kanye for a reason he's not just a soundcloud rapper anymore i feel like that's that's what it is but even the people who are arguing on the opposite side saying that it's not the cardi effect they even agree that cardi adds onto the impact but strictly calling it a cardi effect is discrediting the impact of those global artists that's not what that that's about at all i feel like it's more of a synergy rather than cardi really bringing you know the the all of the hype because when cardi hops on a feature like of a kanye song Kanye already has the massive fan base, but then when they're both together, it's like Uzi Cardi 1629. It's going to like bring back everybody from the old days of 1629. But with Kanye and Cardi, it's like, oh shit, we got like a dynamic duo of some sort. Same thing with Travis Scott and Cardi. Like they're the new like Drake, Travis Scott, sicko mode. Maybe not to the same level, but you get what I'm saying? Like whenever cardi's with somebody it it's like one plus one equals three the hype it's not just both fan bases it's like gonna attract all of hip-hop or at least a, a higher percentage of it they continue those artists have had success without cardi cardi hasn't had the su success without them that's the difference again we will see on that next project with uh I am music or whatever happens because again it's been three years and there's been a lot of time and a lot of accolades that cardi has accrued since whole lot of red so very soon or potentially very soon we will see if cardi can do it by himself like get a number one hit but i think if he does it's probably going to be a feature from kanye or a feature from somebody big uzi drake travis scott future name one it's got to be someone like that i'm not saying he can't do it by himself but usually you know even kanye needed cardi to help him out with carnival and rich the kid and ty dollar sign to get that number one spot although burn i believe is just ty dollar sign and kanye and it's, it's still high charting but still like a lot of times in rap songs you need a feature to really boost it to the top but y'all let me in the comments what y'all think is the cardi effect an actual concept to be reckoned with or is he just getting lucky i'm just saying every time he hops on a feature look at these numbers number one with carnival number five with fiend 11 with mr rage off the grid 11 kanye jr number 16 fuck some was number 23 when it peaked popular with the weekend and madonna number 43 those are two pop icons though but it still charted pretty well like i'm just saying every time he gets on a record like it seems like it always charts big. It's always a big song.